now I know we didn't end with the video here, but I played and I got 15 minutes of footage. It was all going perfectly well. Then something happened, and then something else happened, and I thought I finished, like, kind of uploading the video to my video files. And so I clicked off, and I lost all the footage. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have a whole um, file full of footage, if I just go into it here. And... If you see, this is the Pokemon insert, not like that episode before, but obviously when I click onto it, it comes up with a message saying, oh, can't play. As far as it's playable, this is what it comes up with, which sucks. So, yeah. I am sorry about that, but mistakes do happen, and so we're going to be setting off from here. I didn't really do that much. I walked around the town talking to a bunch of people, finally figured out what I had to do, which is go up to a mountain and get something because everyone was getting presents for the auger, but this guy here didn't, so he needs to go up to a mountain and get something for the present for him and he and so i'm accompanying him and we're getting our starter pokemon which are all delta species and they're bulbasaur charmander squirtle i think it was and um they're all delta species which is like the normal pokemon but they're different um they're different oh what is it well um so like you would have a Charmander might be a fairy type instead of a fire type. Um, so I have different types. Yeah, so that's pretty much all that happened. I just walked over to here and started talking. So I haven't actually got on my star, so thank God, because that is footage I do want to get of me having my getting my starter. So yeah, luckily I do have that. But yeah, now normally I would give you an Eevee as a Pokemon to start off on your journey oh by the way also though when we walked in there was a man that was um uh, went to university with the professor and he he runs i think the cult position no no profe profession i forgot what it was called um he runs that cult and he was going to like take the delta species but then instead he would like I'll set them free and they'll definitely die, or you could give it to, to these kids, so that's what they did. Yeah. So, yet again, I am sorry. But at least I didn't get the, at least the footage for me getting my starter. At least I have that. However, it seems uh, there are three more options for you to choose from. Wait, what? So, oh, wait, yeah. So, I will offer you this. And this is six. You may choose. From one of these three Delta Pokemon to travel with you, or the Eevee I normally give away. If you want an Eevee, talk to me otherwise. Take your pick. I don't think... The... Brad, I don't know what to do. I don't like the idea of Pokemon made by a murderer. But I don't like the idea of these Pokemon left all alone forever. You can pick, but hurry up. We don't know where, when the Augur is arriving. Um, I think... Someone said to for me to get the Eevee as my starter, but I will not because that's I, I'm gonna choose Charmander, Squirtle, or Bulbasaur because you know everyone gets the Eevee, and I would normally ch I'm going and I like you know um what is it. Oh, and also, apparently, the nozzle starts when you, you have Pokeballs, but I'm not going to do it that way, <laughs> because, actually, I, I don't know why. It makes more sense when the poke, when you have Pokeballs, but, yeah. Um, yeah, and like Super Colin Gaming says, um, Jay says from Super Colin Brothers, 
that Nuzlocke, he normally plays the Pokemon you don't normally play with. So I'm going to choose the one I probably wouldn't choose. So the one I probably first on my list to choose is Bulbasaur. He's probably my favourite uh, um, Gen 1 starter. In Pokemon Go, I think I got Charmander, but... Yeah, so Charmander will probably be my second choice because you know I got him at Pokemon Go and stuff. So the last choice I'll probably get would be Squirtle. So that's what I'm going to be going on. It's a fire and psychic type Delta No. This Ghost and Dragon type Delta Charmander. No. This is a dark and fighting type Pokemon. Delta Scorpio. He looks cool. Yes, that is my choice. Are you sure? Yes. Obtain Squirtle. Would you like to give a nickname to the Squirtle? You have to in those walks. I'm really sure. So he's feeling more attached to them. Say they die. Enter text using keyboard. Um, what's a nice Squirtle name? I'm going to ask my friend. Um. Uh, or should I not? He might have a good suggestion. Um. Yeah. So, what shall I name my starter? Uh, Jay from Super Carlin Brothers named the one he got in his first. And I was lucky. He did I think it was his first? He named him Donatello, which is quite cool because that's, you know, Ninja Turtle. Okay. Let's see what it is. Hey, uh, what's. Yes, so I'm gonna just put it's a surprise. He has to wait for like everyone else. So I guess this name is gonna be. Um. Write a name for all of them, I might say. Write a name. Write a name for all of them. Um, let's just go through some names. I mean, doesn't say it would be cool, but that's kind of stealing his idea. Um, what's a Squirtle? The head of that Squirtle squad. He's just called Squirtle. It's probably just called Squirtle. Um, how about, Uh, and, um, uh, how about, oh man, I'm sending ages to sing your Squirtle name, how about, wait, maybe I'll just do a name that goes to, no, I'm just going to name him Charles. Okay, Charles, that says Charles, Charles, oh, a good choice for Bulbous or Female is Ivy, and I'm going with Charles, I probably spelt that wrong, how, actually, how about, yeah, Charles, I'm too attached to the name Charles now, Charles, actually, Charlie. Charlie's. Oh, the game's a bit laggy, I don't know why. Brad, I think you're right. I'm going to pick a Delta Pokemon just like you. Hey, Brad. Before we go out into the Shade Forest, how about a battle? 
It'll be the perfect time to test a new Pokemon. So is he gonna be like a rival? Like a bit like in um Pokemon Omega Ruby. New rival is in kind of a rival, just a friend who likes to battle you. And be like I'm gonna first battle against another person. Yeah, so he's a rival. Oh, uh, okay. Charlie you look like um oh I should should have called him like Zordor. I think that's how you say it. It's like a a person. Okay, trusty bite always works. Wait, where is bite? Where what am I on? Oh god. Bite. Let's go. His baby delays. No. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that was, that was good. I have like no tactic in um Pokemon. Which probably isn't very good. I just go for sheer strength power. Maybe we don't like eyes. No, Charlie. Charlie's. Ooh, he's really low. This is this was easy, kind of. You know, normally it doesn't. Normally it's harder. Oh, my one's a level seven, and he's a level five. The full bolt. The throat bulb was all fainted. Shari Lee's gained 76 XP points. <laughs> Damn, I, I nearly threw it up. Brad defeated rival Damien. Ugh, I lost. Brad got 320 Pokebox for winning. I don't think that's Pokebox. Pokebox looks different. Wow, you're a great battler. Do you think maybe you could take on a gym someday? Hopefully. Alright, Brad, here's the deal. I'm going to head north into Shade Forest. At the northern end of the forest is a really large cave. In the middle of the cave is the rest stone we're looking for. I'll meet you there, okay? So, I'm going to probably count the... Brad, can I talk to you for a moment? The cave is the whole place itself, obviously. Damien rushed up before I could give him one, but I'd like you to have this. Obtain the Pokédex! This is the Pokédex, short for Pokémon Index. It is a it is a data collection of all Pokémon that I give to trainers. My voice, no, my voice has been moved to keep on changing. If you see a Pokémon, it will be registered in the Pokédex. If you catch one, the Pokédex will be full of data regarding the po that Pokémon. Anyways, now that you've gotten that, you should be all set to go on your adventure. Head up north to Telna Cave, deep in the forest, be careful, and good luck. And I think that will be a good way to end the video. Um, another story for the lost footage of episode 4. Maybe that's a good title, the lost footage of episode 4. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, I probably should have chosen the Eevee because of the evolutions. But yeah, I like the look of the Squirtle. Yeah, sorry again for the messy recording. Yep, I'll see you guys, hopefully, in the next one. Bye!